Okay, hello guys. So this is the Galaxy A 4 s and in this video I will show you how to root this one. Okay, the code name is A 4 7 f It's using an Android routine on One UI Core version 5.0. Okay, all the file and step I will provide in my blog. You can check the link in the description box. Okay, if you have any questions feel free to ask on the comment section so stay tuned and check it out okay hello guys assalamualaikum with again with Tom Bob okay this time we have a new Samsung pawn the low entry pawn this is the Galaxy A04s and in this video i'll show you how to root this one okay first thing to do as usual let's check the setting system you can see right here it's using android 13 on one ui core version 5.0 and it's still using the binary one okay <clears throat> if you use the binary 2 and upcoming binary it's not a problem you can always use my method Okay, to gain a root access using magis okay first thing you need to do as usual enable the developer options by hit the build number five times okay and then go back okay go to the developer option and make sure to turn on the OM unlock right here okay <clears throat> and don't forget to remove all the emails if you forgot it will lock the pawn okay and then let's check the binary option okay so you have to download the stock stock run that according to your version okay this is the binary one s1 b y b y s1 b y b1 okay this one okay so you need to download and extract the boot and VB meta. Okay, so let's switch the screen. And this is our stock ROM. Okay, you can download uh, stock ROM from the same mobile. Okay, like this one, I will put the link uh, and find where you have the region. I'm using the Indonesian version. Okay, like this. Okay, uh, just select and select the binary option right here okay and feel free to use the binary that you use okay and then after you download just open it the file you can open using the 7 zip and extract the ap file right here put it in folder okay i already extract the file and then open the ap extract the boot image and pb meta Okay. and we'll see the boot mg dot lg4 and pb meta dot mg lg4 okay just open and extract the boot image and also extract the pb meta so we have to file okay copy the pad put it into the 7 zip <clears throat> And then select the boot image and the pb meta right click 7 zip add to archive and change it into tar okay okay so now you will have the one file that contain the boot image and pb meta again okay, the next thing you need to do is copy this file and also we need to copy the magis file okay you can use the stable or delta canary i prefer using the delta canary okay now let's copy the star file put it into the internal storage i will put it into the document folder and we also need to copy the magis apk right here okay done now let's switch the screen again and now we're back to the pond. Okay, now let's find the file manager, my file. Okay, and go to the internal storage or where you have copied the file. I put it into the common folder. 
install uh, the secondary if if it asks for permission just give it permission okay, install on and source my file install now let's open it and just give it permission and go to the install menu right here okay can you see it install select and patch your file find where you have copied the tar file okay select this option galaxy a04s i put it into the document folder and select the tar file <coughs> hey now the head hits the let's go it will start uh extract the file and patching the file okay done all is done and now <coughs> The result is in the download folder. Okay, let's copy the file into the computer. Okay, now we'll navigate to the download folder and we'll see the uh, magis underscore pets blah 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 in in a uh, tar format. Copy to a uh, save folder in your computer, and you're ready to go. Okay, now let's turn off the pawn. And now let's do the unlock bootloader like any other your samsung phone we need to press the flow map volume down at the same time and then plug the usb cable okay let's try it okay now you will see the blue screen like, like this all you need to do is uh long press the volume up okay about uh five to five seconds and you will see a confirmation unlock boot order okay now press the volume up once and it will start on the unlock boot order process okay it will reboot to the stock recovery and start formatting the data okay so make sure you have backup all the file that important okay finish now i want to go again to the loadout mode so i press the two button and it will go to the screen again okay now press the volume up once and we are in the download mode okay now let's put down the pawn so in here i already opened the audience okay we're using the 3.14 and make sure you have already also already installed a driver okay i will put all the, the link Odin, the something driver, Magis, and the link for the stock firmware, and also the uh, patch boot and VB meta. Okay, if you need it. Okay, now let's copy the path where we have the patch file. Select option, uncheck out reboot, select AP, and paste the path. Okay, and select the file. I'll hit the start button. It will start flashing the two file and when it finish it become green and now we need to go to the stock recovery to format the data and next we need to force reboot the pawn like usual force reboot can be done by press the follow down and the power button at the same time about five seconds and when the pawn reboot it quickly switch the volume up to the volume down while still pressing the power button okay let's try it volume down power button <coughs> wait for five seconds okay if you fail you need to try several times okay like this okay and switch to the volume up and now we are in the stock uh in the stock recovery okay you can navigate using the volume up volume down and apply option by press the power button okay scroll down select wipe cache partition scroll down select yes select wipe data or factory set 
scroll down factory reset and when it's done just hit the reboot system okay after that we can wait <clears throat> okay and after the unlock boot order you will see the message it is expected because on samsung phone it will see a warning like this okay it's not a problem so let's wait until it boots into the home screen and now we are in the home screen all you need to just hit next next until it goes to the home screen okay don't forget to connect to the internet using the sim card or wi-fi because it is very important after you to root our custom rom on samsung phone and now we are in the home screen okay let's check if the mages are available available or not okay if not you can manually install the mages apk so let's go to the my file <clears throat> okay and in here i already copied the mages apk the delta canary okay let's open the apk and install the apps if you cannot do that go to the name of your phone galaxy a04 find the download folder delta canary and continue install okay okay let, like i said before you need to connect to the internet using the sim card or wi-fi at least one minute okay if you don't do that the pawn will become with boot loop after you start the pawn okay now let's open it and usually for the first time <clears throat> it will ask for additional setup okay like this just hit ok and the pawn will automatically reboot in five seconds okay remember don't forget to connect to the internet and now we're back okay so i have installed several apps okay like root beer root checker and safety net okay now let's open the mages <clears throat> and here we go now you can see right here we have successfully installed the mage zelda install blah 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 jg snow ram this now okay nice after this you can play around by enabling the JG's okay the boot loop protection magic side and for Sulis if you want to and you can also install LS pose and other stuff okay now let's open the root beer to check if the one has been rooted or not okay nice rooted uh souvenir blah 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 hey okay. now let's open the root checker just for fun okay super user request your sma 047f is rooted on a root scene nice <clears throat> now let's open the safety net the safety net usually become false because the cts profile is fail okay it is expected because we have already unlocked the bootloader okay if you want to make it not fail you can always install the magis module uh the safety net fix model okay okay that's all guys i hope it helps you if you find it helpful please give it a thumb and see you in the next video